can't find anything. I'm coming, Stanley. Damn you, have you even moved a muscle? Did you brush your teeth today? <laughs> I'm trying to read about General Hannibal in my encyclopedia. Well, that was yesterday. Your teeth are today. But they'll be yesterday if you don't brush them. There's pages of this encyclopedia that are missing. I took them, Grandpa. Stanley, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about John tearing pages out of my encyclopedia. I took the pages for the maps. Grandpa, I put them on my well, wall. Bring them back, me, yeah. I didn't think Stanley, you needed them. Stanley, who cares about your damn encyclopedia? I'm keeping up with history. Who cares about the rise and fall of the Roman Empire? That's exciting. General freaking Hamill came over the mountains with his elephants to kick some ass. <laughs> There's nothing more exciting than that. That's the past. You ever see a live elephant, Loretta? Past is done, Stanley. Yeah, but I didn't get to see it. Uh, Grandpa, I need suits ready. I'm arguing with your grandmother, boy. Want you to hold your tongue until I'm finished with her. Ooh, I love it when you talk dirty. Well, suit's hot when you're ready. Stanley, you have not been off this stoop here and You out. calling me stupid? This stoop here, Stanley. Today we're gonna get up and go visit. Well, why ever for? Because I ain't going you nowhere. You need a purpose. What would I do with a porpoise? You need a purpose, Stanley. I don't even like tuna fish. Stanley, <laughs> take the banana out of your ear, stick it in your mouth, and stop arguing with me. Do I look hungry, woman? Stanley, why can't you put those damn encyclopedias away? It's history. I am history. And I love history. And you love me. Well, sure I do. I love you more than the blackest snack. Well, I love you more than grass on a hot summer day. Yeah, but I love you more than lemonade with one ice cube on a hot summer's day. Well, I love you more than fried catfish. Oh, I love you more than McDonald's. <laughs> Jesus, Stanley. And I doubted your love. <laughs> at the 4th of July picnic, even organized by Hank, that idiot. Hank is <laughs> my friend, and I could still love you, and I love you more than black beans. Well, I love you more than a cold beer running down the back of my throat. Now, there's an image. <laughs> that love. You even threw your bad poetry, Loretta. I love you still. Well, I even love you through those boogers caught in your mustache. I love that. Shut up for a while. Grandpa. I, I hope that's not a poor interruption, boy. I guess not. Stan, look at your pants. You have not changed them in forever. You just sit here on this goddamn bench. Well, I, no need to change my pants if I've only got to sit on a bench. Well, the front still shows. Shows through who? People, they come by. No, they don't. To pay their rent. But they don't pay the rent. On a good day. But they don't never pay the rent. You're not collecting the rent, Stanley? Loretta, why should I collect the rent? The place is paid off. <laughs> if Aristophanes was sitting here in my seat, you'd think he'd be worried about collecting rent? Stanley, you cannot live in friggin' 3,000 years Watch ago. Watch your friggin' language, Loretta. What, somebody gonna hear me, Stanley? No, they're gonna hear you, Stanley. Arguing, arguing with friggin' nobody. Well, I can hear both of you, and I don't like your language. Thank you. Sorry, John. You gotta respect the boy, Loretta. Sorry, John. So what are you trying to say, anyway? You know I'm not saying anything. I haven't said one word since you found me dead on the couch in there 10 months ago. Oh, then who the hell been talking to me all the damn day long? Well, that's a damn good question. That's the first intelligent question you've had today. John, where the hell are you now? What the hell, Grandpa? I'm sorry, but the Loretta's really chawing on my butt today. <laughs> yeah, you guys are just going off and off. I'm gonna let you go. Well, hi, Mr. Stan. How are you today? Dee-Dee. <laughs> She's lovely. She is lovely. Dee-Dee, you know, I'm truly happy to see you today, Dee-Dee. Oh, well, I'm truly happy I'm here, too, Mr. Stan. <laughs> well, hi, John. How are you today? I'm good, Dee-Dee. How are you? Good. That's Dee -Dee. my grandson. That's John. Yes, I know. He's such a good boy, Mr. Stan. <laughs> well, I guess. Well, you know, I woke up the other morning, and I noticed the sun bouncing off that shiny new trailer over there, that Airstream. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering, Mr. Stan, what's going on? We got a new neighbor? Got a new neighbor in the park. Queen Larry Moe is his yeah. name. You're gonna really like him, I Larry think. Moe? No, 
No, it's Guillermo, I think. Guillermo, what is that, French? Well, he's a foreigner, I think. Foreign? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's very ambitious, too. Well. But not like John, though. Oh, well, nobody's like John, Mr. Sayin. No, not exactly like John, no. <laughs> well, I brought my famous Texas cheesecake brownie bites. No, you did a friend of Texas cheesecake brownie bites. Yes, I did. <laughs> she brought me cheesecake brownie bites. Those Texas ladies really know how to cook it brownie. Oh, is Loretta here today? Yeah. Well, hi, Loretta. How are you? Would you like one? <laughs> sure, tell you what I'm I hope you like it. Tell her I'm dead, not deaf. <laughs> too much, baby. These are too much. Uh, I can enjoy them all day long. Well, I'm so glad you like it, Mr. Dan. You can have as many as you want, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Grandpa. Yes, John. I want to give you something before I go. What's that, John? Well, it's a camera. Well, that's a camera. Yeah, it's a camera, Grandpa. Mom gave it to me, remember? It's antiquated, you know, like the horse of the telegraph. It'll be a thing of the past soon enough. Here, look here. Why are you sharing this information with me, son? I don't know, Grandpa. Here's the lens cap. You take it off. Here's the, the, the record button's right there somewhere. The zoom, the stop. What the hell would I ever do with that, John? Open your eye wide, Grandpa. I'm leaving, Grandpa. It might come in useful. Here's the case, Grandpa. What, is that a movie Sayonara. camera, Mr. Stan? He's giving me a movie camera. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this movie seems to be about a tree. Huh. <laughs> well, a very small one, though. Well, it's got to be small, Stanley, if it's going to fit in that box. What the hell would I ever do with a damn thing like that? Oh, my. <laughs> now I see the benefits of this apparatus. <laughs> John, how? Uh, how'd you say you get recorded to happen? It's the red button. Red button. Red button. That works. Oh, good. It's just fine. Right. Thank you, Dee Dee. You finally got him up off this bench. Dee Dee, you've done a wonderful thing. Oh, good. You, you fogged up the lens. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, sir. You said intercourse. 